Clyde Martin Harvey, Bishop of the Roman Catholic Diocese of St. George in Grenada, is of the opinion that the tradition of Lent is not dying in the true sense of the word, but rather a society of change that adapts differently. Yeah, well, the problem is that you, you're dealing with a society in, trans, in, a, in the midst of change, in the midst of deeper knowledge and and all kinds of things, so that what you have is not so much um, traditions dying as much as traditions that people did not understand, right, coming to be understood in different ways. So that I hear people talking about Lent, but not as something that is a cultural reality into which you just fit, but as something where you have to be intentional about observing it. So you can't depend on the society anymore to observe Lent with you. You have to decide to observe it yourself. In that sense, the cultural traditions may be dying, but the personal, spiritual, and religious um, commitment is there still. Bishop Harvey is of the opinion that the church has a responsibility as a lot of young people don't know what Lent is all about. Um, that's, that may be so as with all cultural traditions and religious traditions. But what we have now is for the first time, there is a lot of competition. And competition from people who have no, no clear allegiance to any part of that tradition. A lot of young people don't know what Lent is all about. So the, the church has a tremendous challenge of religious education, okay. which, it, which it, it cannot deny. It has to take it up and take it up as the situation requires. The church leader shared his thoughts on the recent spate in violence among young people, noting that the task at hand is finding out the root cause. The one thing that I am very clear about is we do not panic. We do not blame young people as if they're going to hell. What we have is, let's face it, in Grenada, it's a few young people who are doing things which we older people have not normally associated with young people or with Grenada. So we have the task of finding out why is this happening, why is this happening, first of all, in our homes, and then why it may be happening in our schools, and then to address it. It is not going to be addressed by simply throwing your hands up in the air and saying what's happening. People have to begin the work in their homes, educating and helping their children to understand that some things are not to their benefit. For instance, the free and long-term use of social media. The phone that you have in your hand is as dangerous to you in some ways as a knife or a gun. Lent spans 40 days from Ash Wednesday to Easter Sunday. Here are some of the activities still to come. We have the usual Holy Week ceremonies. On Wednesday, we have the Mass of the Chrism at the Cathedral to which we invite every Catholic, even if we don't have space for every Catholic. But it's a very important liturgy. It's one that everybody should attend at least once in their lifetime. At that Mass, we bless the sacred oils that are used for the sacramentals of the Church, the sacraments of the Church during the year. And then we have the celebration of the Lord's Supper. Every Holy Thursday at that Supper, the priesthood was instituted. And uh, in the, the first Mass, as we understand, the Mass was celebrated. That is in your parish church everywhere. And then on Friday, and then the Saturday vigil, all of these are things that are taking place in all the parish churches. Christina John, GBN News.